Just Another Teaching Moment, written and performed by Sarah Thursby. I am a carer. Does that make sense? A carer who cares as it overbears and consumes me. The word carer, I am aware, is not a word at all. But who dares to care that carer is nothing? Who decided the conjugation of this word is wrong anyway? Who cares? I care. I care about the loves in my life, my child and my husband as I'm mother and wife. I am their one and only that woman-shaped world that means stability, humility, personality, agility. I am more than that, more than a mom, more than a wife. My hats are many in this life. Daughter, sister, friend, foe, teacher, reader, writer, poet, coach, leader, lover. I care about them all. So much so that it hurts to my very core and I give and I give until I have nothing more. My job is not confined within four walls. My jobs are not confined within these walls. I bleed into the halls, through the walls, and recall my heart weakening, my mind reeling, yet 2 a.m. strikes and spikes ideas for some of you. I go and I go for the love of you. You know who you are. Students, let me advise you. I care so deep that it cuts at my being, though you don't have any concept of what I mean. Someday maybe you will show up for me as I see you in my unyielding dreams. Hope is a dangerous thing. Weird. Hopers has a nice ring to it. As a carer, I am friends with hope. I care, I hope, I love, I speak, I feel, I dream. I hope I care. I don't know why I care, but then again I do. I care for you. I care because I can. I care because I dare to dream of a life with your love, respect, attention, inhibitions. I was born to care for you. This is my dare. Fair or unfair. I'm a teacher, but really a preacher. I preach to you about values you don't even know yet. Tolerance, acceptance, and God forbid, respect. Your small world in school, you may think you rule, but this world is but the tip of a pen. Nothing can stop you from accepting or rejecting. Nothing but you. I hope you understand this. There's that hope again. Perpetual, frustratingly hopeful. Naively hopeful? I hope not. If you can't comprehend this, if you don't want to try, if this confuses you, then you are the who I am talking to. But what about me? I'm a person too, and in all my life I've never had a teacher care about me the way I care for you. As I write these words, I cry. I cry a lot deep down inside, but why must I hide that fact from you when it's you are the why I do? My amount of care is not close to breaking through your hurtful blank stares. But let's not lie, I don't to you. I cry outside my body too. I drive away from your big, clean, dry, beautiful, safe place as tears drip down my tired face. I respect you as a person and pray for the best, it's true, but why do you do the things you do? I do not know, no, nor never will. But this doesn't satisfy my will to carry on and teach with poise when all I hear is, Noise, noise, noise. How many points is this stuff worth? Are we doing anything fun today? Do you think I could get an extension? I just didn't want to do this last night. Listen and learn, young ones. Points are worthless without the gain. You imply lessons aren't fun? Hey, thanks for the pain. That flow in creation, after all, came from my very own and personal brain. Thanks for your honesty on the extension, but when? When will you take your brain off suspension? Wake up, stand up, grow up. No, don't grow up. Peter Pan said it best in the end. I will never grow up. I will stay a boy and always have fun. After all, that's why I became a teacher, to look at you like my daughters and sons. I look at you. Don't think about your neighbor. You, you make my heart sad when you try half-heartedly. With that said, you make my heart whole when you give it your all. I will always do my best to give you my absolute best. Don't let any teacher test you with less than their best. I sold my soul to teaching because I know deep down you are reaching for what I have for you. Respect, patience, strength, humor, compassion, love, and most of all, hope. I care. Do you dare?